Fuck Nessig. Fuck yourself. Now this first comedian, he he's rare. He's a rare creature. Like, I don't want to say anything, but National Geographic has been filming him all week because it's rare to see something like this. Ladies and gentlemen, Omar Ramsey. <laughs> How you guys doing? I would like to start with the uh, traditional Egyptian uh, greeting, the, the how do you find? <laughs> That's how I use the phone. Whenever I call somebody, I'm always like, how do you find? Eh. I do that for like three hours. Eh. And then I say, how eh. Another four hours. Then I, I end it with, boy boy. <laughs> boy boy. I love it, I love it. So as he said, I am an endangered species. Uh, I am half Irish, half Sudanese. Give it up for the white Sudanese. Any other white Sudanis here today? No, there isn't. There isn't. There's never any other white Sudanis. Anymore. I remember uh, I went to a uh, party once, and there was a lot of people, a lot of new people I never met before. And then there was this one guy who came up to me, he's like, hey man, where are you from? And I was thinking, do I tell him the truth? Do I lie? If I tell him the truth, I have to get the history books out. I'd be like, listen, in 1946, the Ottoman Empire came, and then the English, you know. And I was like, you know, uh, screw it, I'm just gonna tell him, you know, I'm. I'm Sudanese, you know? And he looked at me and he's like, I'm Sudanese too. He was a white guy, you know? And then we hugged and we cried. It was a special, it was a special moment. It was a special moment. Um, I'm thinking about getting a tattoo, but I want it to be something that uh, means something to me, that represents me. So I'm thinking like a leprechaun that eats fool. <laughs> but like the leprechaun's really lazy. He's like, ugh, we can't reach it. It's very far away, you know? <laughs> um, you, know having, you know, my life is very strange, obviously, being half Irish, half Sudanese. My mother, you know, she calls me Omer. Would you like some more potatoes over with your lunch? And my father's like, yeah, so it's like, so it's like, what, you know? The uh, communication in the house is very strange. Uh, like I'd, I'd ask my mom something, you know, I'd ask her questions. I'm like, so mom, when do you think the, the, the stability here in Egypt's gonna sort itself out? And she's like, sure, that'll happen when the cows come home. I'm like, when the cows come home? Like to her, that would mean something in Ireland. Like, to, like you know, they know. I'm like, do the cows know their way home? Are they lost? Were they treated well there at home? I don't know, you know? But, you know, cow, my dad, on the other hand, he makes words up, you know? Like, he, he wouldn't know, like, the name for, uh, for like, a, a broom, you know? He's like, Omar, would I be sick as nice? I'm like, the what? sick as nice, I'm like, uh, and then, you know, he might, he, he forgets the name for the, uh, you know that little brush thingy, you know, the duster thingy? But I deep in Scooby Dooby Doo. I'm like, you know, after a while, I, I, I understand. I'm like, do you want the yellow Scooby Doo or, or the green sick as nice? You know? Very strange. Um, even the food at home is very, very strange. You know, sometimes it would be like traditional Irish food, it would be like, uh, roast beef and potatoes and stuff, and then like the next day would be like mullah in Kisra. <laughs> Do you guys know what mullah? Anyone? Anyone familiar with Sudanese cuisine? It looks like what it sounds like. Mullah. It's, it's like green slime. It's like you know, like have you seen the uh, the Ghostbusters? You know that ectoplasm? That the, it's like mullah, and they eat it with uh, Kisra. Kisra is like really thin. Uh, uh, bread, like really thin, like pancake bread, really thin, you know? You, you dip it into the mullah and you eat it. <laughs> One time we had this English guy come over and he's like, you know, we had the, the mullah and kisra was uh, served. And he sat down, he took the kisra and he put it, he thought it was a napkin. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, James, you're supposed to eat that, you know? Like, oh, do you apologize? Do you have any non-edible napkins? <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, I have some non-edible. Mom, bread for James. <laughs> uh, what else have I got? Um, extremes. I grew up in Saudi Arabia, in Jeddah. Sorry, Jeddah. Sorry. I'm still getting used to the the Gim Jim conversion, right? You guys say Gim instead of so it's Jeddah. You guys say Jeddah. Jeddah, yeah. 
I, uh, I'm trying to understand Egyptian, I'm trying, because I know Saudi, when I speak Arabic, I speak in Saudi. And you know, sometimes I talk to people and they say words, I'm like, I know that word, but it's different, you know? <laughs> it's like, like Gamda, I'm like, Gamda. <laughs> Sounds very, then I do the conversion, Jamda. It's getting there. Then I try to mess around with it, Jamdi, Jamdi, Jamid. Oh. And by the time I get it, he's talking about something else. He's like, he's a million miles away. I'm just like, I just say, oh. oh. That's what you say here if they, oh. oh, oh. Death, oh. Uh, but extremes, yeah. Um, I find extremes to be very, very uh, unusual. Like in Saudi Arabia, you know, the, there's extreme segregation between the men and the women. You know, like guys and girls don't hang out as much and you don't. So there'd be like Saudi guys like chilling in supermarkets, you know? And then, you know, a girl might be walking in, you know, she's completely covered up, right? And like a sneaky wind might come and like he sees like some ankle. <laughs> and he calls, dude, 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 you won't, you won't believe what I saw. Well, my three inches of ankle. Your ankle. I told you to come hang out with me in the supermarket. Why did you? Obviously, I'm exaggerating. It's more like one and a half uh, inches. Uh, and then on the flip side, like I used to go to Spain a lot for the summer vacations. And then in Spain, it's Adi, you know, you see like a topless woman walking down the beach and nobody cares. Like I saw like a topless woman, the hottest woman I've ever seen in my life, walk down the beach and a guy was yawning. He was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, it was just me and my uncle, like just, <laughs> my uncle, man, he's such a pervert. I love him. He, he walks down the beach, like he has the camera, he's like, and this is the beautiful beach. And, uh, and Valencia, and this is the water, and this is, and then, oh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> and this is the water, and, uh, thank you very much, White Sudani, peace out. Give it up, White Sudani, how amazing. Subscribe!